The service position is the normal operating cycle that treats your water. As the water enters through the top valve, it flows down through the medias inside that capture the contaminants traveling in your water. The good quality water travels up through a distributor tube, out of the system, and through your home. Once the medias have reached the capacity they can hold, the system must go through a regeneration process to remove the contaminants they have captured. The first cycle of regeneration is called, brine pre-fill. The water max will start with the standard amount of water in the brine tank, but the system may calculate more will be necessary for the upcoming brine rinse cycle, based on your water usage. If more salt solution will be needed, the controller draws in additional water to ensure your system has enough to complete the process at maximum effectiveness. To add more water to the brine tank, the water first enters the system traveling down through the medias, and back up the tube before crossing over into the brine tank where the salt is stored. The water remains here, dissolving salt to be used later in the regeneration process. It is important that treated water is used to fill the brine tank because it leads to better performance and helps keep the salt clean. The next step in the regeneration process is backwash one. The first backwash cycle occurs when raw water enters the media tank and travels down through the distribution tube. Then the water flows up through the medias inside. This helps lift the material, agitate and loosen it to help clean off the particles captured by the media. The particles in water are flushed out the drain. Next, the saltwater solution or brine flows out of the brine tank and into the media tank. It flows down the distributor tube and up through the media. The salt in the brine is necessary to cause a chemical reaction that cleans the resin media used for water softening. After this slow pass of brine, the resin beads are able to remove hardness once again. This is followed by an immediate rinse cycle that draws in raw water to flush excess salt left behind during the brining process. Another rinse cycle is performed called backwash 2. Raw water is used to flush the media tank to ensure that the resin and filtration medias are free from any mist contaminants or residual salt. Before returning to the service position, the system must replenish the water reserve in the brine tank to prepare for the next regeneration. Water enters through the top of the tank and flows down through the medias. The now treated water flows up through the distribution tube and into the brine tank. Here, it will slowly dissolve the salt supply until a new regeneration cycle is triggered by the system. The water max is now ready to resume operation in the service position and provide good quality water. With a unique multi-compartment design, the water max can be custom built to include a variety of medias that fit your exact water needs. Whether that is filtering unpleasant materials or softening hard water, the water max can provide up to three different solutions inside one product.